Yo, what is up everyone? Hope all's going well for you. Welcome back to Get Jack. Now today, we're continuing off here in Atlas. Now, today, uh, we're starting out with a little bit of a, a failed parrot tame here. Actually, went through a lot of effort to figure out what we could set up on a Freeport server, uh, get these gates down, and all that fun stuff, and we found out that you can't tame a parrot or anything on the Freeport servers. They just keep eating infinitely, so... We thought this one was bugged out, wasn't showing the taming bar, and we tried to feed it for a while, and it just wouldn't work. So just a little forewarning, you can't tame anything in the free ports, uh, but later on, we are actually going to head out to a different island a little further away and uh, get some of these parrots. Um, so I've been working on this brig for a little while. We're at the free port right now. Actually, we were on like a split journey to get crew and then parrots uh didn't turn out so well for the parrots but we did get some crew for the brig um so we've been working on that over the last few days or so and now that we've got a manned crew on it we're gonna take out a bunch of ghost ships today uh see if we can get some levels on our ship as well as more crew for it because i'm only buying so many here at the free ports these are all level one and pretty bad uh base stats um but we'll get more into the ghost ships as well and then we're also going to be working on the castle a ton so we're setting up a full wall around that bad boy and we're gonna get that all suited up to be a little bit more defended so we'll be working on that and stocking that with npcs as well because remember we don't only have to fill up our ship with crew we also have to fill up all of our like defenses and things like that at the base with them as well um so we need a ton just everywhere basically so that's an ongoing project which i'm fine with because thinking ghost ships is probably one of the more fun things to do because you know running power stones that's very exciting the sarcasm all right we're gonna get into the video <laughs> we'll bear it back all right here we go first ghost ship with the brig look at those sails I painted them myself also got a nice paint job on the side so hopefully we don't break any planks you know what i'm saying Okay. Oh yeah. Nice. I swear, I keep aiming too high. But don't worry, I missed too. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, I'm taking on what? What? Taking no... heavy fire. I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> it's scaring me, man. Oh, there we it's go. It's only level two. Hey. We did it. Good work. Yeah, I got a level up. Oh, you uh, killed it, you jerk. <laughs> Taking Whoops. levels from the ship. Oh, the brig got level up too. Oh, nice. They got level ups anyway, so must have changed All right, all right. I forgive you. All right. Two levels too. All right, let's see here. What do we get? What do we get? We got a puckle turret. Ooh. Oh no! There's a shark. Shoot the shark. No. I don't have any good. I'll lure him to the our cannoneer. He loves to shoot things. <laughs> oh no! It ran. Yeah, it bit me. It. it bit me once and then ran like really far away. Actually, a lot of our planks are down because we were in the free port. Oh, yeah, true. They're like 4k. Oh, well, that one's at 3.5. <laughs> might not have. Probably should have I, I might not have that. hit one of those, one or two of those as well when I was going through. Yeah. Oh, good. What is the crew limit at? How many of these can I bring on? Uh, we have 14 out of 19. 14 out of 19. So we can probably right. bring them all on. Yep. We got five spots. Perfect. Since we got a bit of a journey ahead of us, I figured I'd give you a little tour of the boat. I've been upgrading it kind of like on the side and haven't really shown you. So I've got these guys enclosed. I was just able to put them on with the last uh, ghost ship kill. I bought, I think, 10 from the free port as well. So, you know. So we've got him or her on there covered up on both these you can kind of shoot in to the sides of it but i want them to have like a full range of motion to be able to shoot as well so let me avoid this ship quick we're kind of low on supplies i'm not trying to fight too many of these we're actually at like half weight holy crap we must be pretty low 
Let me just avoid this quick. So I've got the new sails, obviously. Let me see what level that one is, just to be sure. 16. Probably sunk someone. Look at that. It's got half HP. We do not want to mess with that. So, I'm trying to give you a good overview. I've got the two middle cannons in the middle. I'm just going to go over things while we're <laughs> getting out of the way. It's getting a little bit close here. Okay, we're all good. So here I've got a couple pedestals like this set up. This is so when either NPCs or people are on these, you can be blocked from being sniped or whatever. Obviously you use heavies for like attacking bases and stuff too, so having them covered up is pretty good. I've got the three up front for chases, which I don't see that being too viable. Like the range on the heavies isn't enough to be able to chase someone down, I feel like, but it's good for assaulting buildings, stuff like that. And then, obviously, a couple in the back. So, total, I don't know, what do we got? Two, four, five heavies, and then three, six, seven, eight, eight normals. I'd like to get three more gun ports down here below deck. Mostly because, oh wait, I've still got one in here. She's just tending the food, don't worry her. So, we've got the cabin there. And then we've got three on each side. I really want six on each side. The reason I didn't initially is because we didn't have any weight. Like, the weight was horrible. Uh, they updated that, obviously. I think they gave, like, 40% more base weight to ships. So that's where I really started to get space on my weight. Um, and now we can throw six more. Six more definitely down below. That's what I'm just working on now is just getting the gun ports and cannons made up for that. So it'll be pretty much double the firepower. And then coming down here, we've got all the crafting. I'm trying to, like, keep an eye on it because we're getting kind of close here to our island. Right up there. I guess we're not that close. I'm just I'm just worried, okay? I don't, I don't want to be that guy who crashes into shore, but that's the brig. I like it a lot. Obviously, I still want to add a few more things, but I really like this setup. I don't like doing too much on the top deck because it's just cluttered. I don't know. It's confusing. Okay, coming back into port in a hurricane. As if it wasn't laggy enough coming into here. So, I don't think I've shown this off yet, but this is our port that we've been working on. I haven't done the building for it. I've been sending them hundreds and hundreds, uh, thousands actually, of foundations uh, that we're just crafting up over at my base. And it is ridiculous. So this is the only gap that you can get through. This beam, it, this death beam is actually really messing me up here. The water's going over this. So that's pretty much foundation stacked all the way to the seafloor, which is not close. It is not close. But we've got this entire thing blocked off so that you can only come through this slit, which will eventually be like a gate. And we can store everything safely back here. Evidently, the hurricanes just roll up in there. It's just sitting on top of a galley over there. <laughs> but yeah, it gets laggy in here. I figured I'd just give you a little glimpse of the harbor. I know you haven't seen it probably since the first couple of episodes or something, but it's getting pretty full. Good thing these boats have a reverse feature as well, because <laughs> that ain't realistic. Okay, and we're back at base with the NPCs. Gonna get these all set up on the buckle guns. Hope you guys are looking forward to your new job. Anything should be better than the ghost ship though, right? Let me move this rhino out of the way. So I want to show you the progress that I have done around here as well. Excuse me. Pardon me. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. I think I got to take it out of the wall. There we go. Okay, we'll get these up and set up on defenses. And I'll show you around a little bit. So we're going to be working on a wall around the whole thing. That's the plan. Oh, did I not turn that one on low follow? No, no, I did. Okay. Just takes a minute. Hope you enjoyed that ride. That was for it took forever. I took a little nap. Alright, let's see here. It's the best way of doing this. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna whistle and they're gonna fall right down that hole. Um I have confidence that they can We'll go over it, but this one ain't doing nothing. I just realized that. Sorry. 
Sorry, it was bothering me. Let me go grab another ceiling. I want to put it underneath that uh, <laughs> little gap. I, I really don't think they're going to make it. Oh, that, that hurts. That hurts. This should help, though. I don't think they'll dive off now. Come on. Really? <laughs> she, like, lagged right over the, the gap. So, I've got the uh, foundation set up all around on this wall and whatnot. So, we're going to definitely keep working on that. I need to get more of these set up as well. Okay, so I've got all the puckle emplacements all set. And I think the beginning of the wall is all finished as well. I can just go around now, just laying walls. I had to level out the foundations and do all that fun stuff, getting these all on the same grid, because this is technically all lined up. Just fill that in. Want a little gap right there, for now. Um, until I place more puckles in places, I want to make sure that they are facing the right ways. I think I yep, left off right here. So I'm going to be going all the way around this thing, kind of tossing in some windows, normal walls and all that along the way, kind of give us some ways to look out from this wall. And then we'll have to add defenses to this as well. I don't know. I don't know about that. I feel like this, this project is going to take forever. It's just a couple of us working on this. So we're just trying to have fun, you know, build slowly as we go and make it look cool. So we'll just see how it ends up. But I think this is going to be a really cool wall, especially once we get defenses. Oh, is that going to be? No, we good. We good. Might be able to actually... I wonder if I can use that, like, if I put that right there. I know I have to remove this eventually. Oh, what the hell? All right. I know I have to remove this eventually, but can I use it until then? Nope. Well, let me mount it. It's kind of sad. That would have been, like, perfect. Just kind of, like, crouch and shoot some mortars at people. Maybe pick that up. Can I do it now? No, I actually can't now. It might be this foundation, actually, to be fair. Okay, I'm going to have to remove that, but I knew that anyway. So we'll just fill it in. So since I don't have enough to actually finish this section and show you like the nice completed project, we're going to have to work on this probably over the next few days at least. Um, but I want to actually head out. We need to get more NPCs. We just don't have enough manning all these puckles. I want a couple for cannons, things like that eventually. Uh, so we really need to stock up. We're going to head out and get more. The uh, Apollo the most superior of all the ships of all, all right, vessels. Captain, I got it in my sights. Fire. Fire! Firing! Shadows AFK in the crow's nest. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> We're gonna kill this boat. A little bit closer, Captain.
Okay, here we are. On an enemy island, actually. I think it's about time we tamed up one of these parrots. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried on three occasions to do so. The first time, I didn't realize they only took hard tack, which they've changed by now, of course, so that they accept other things. Is that a cannon? As long as our boat's good, we're, we're good. So, actually sailed all the way down here to help out allies and fight and take over this island. So, we've actually just taken over this island. We're finishing clearing out the last few bases, and I, I need to go home and go to bed. So, I came down here knowing that I was returning with a parrot. And I'm returning with a parrot. So, even though we just got done raiding for like four or five hours, I'm finishing this. Because I don't want to come back down to these islands or the tropics for a bit. I'm cool with our area, but I do want the parrots because they give some good bonuses. All the shoulder pets do, so I'm going to try and set up this trap and maybe get one of these ones over here. All right, here we go. Round two of the taming trap. As you can see, it's in a different spot. We had to change territory over there to our allies because we kind of captured that part. Come on, come on. I swear this works well. You just have to make sure you're crouching. And he should follow you right there. Yep, there we go. Easy. Easy. You could probably do a one by one, honestly. But this is easy. You just kind of lure them into your little den and beat them with a hatchet. It's awesome. There we go. Yeah, so I actually lured a parrot back to that trap. And I guess it had changed hands. And then I couldn't access the door anymore. It was perfect. It's actually kind of funny. So I've got the hard tack. It's made from wheat. And that's what they like the most, so I'm going to feed them this. That's not too bad, actually, uh, for taming per feed. There we go. Level 5, quality. <laughs> I just want it for the boost, man. And look at how awesome this looks. It's, it's literally as big as me. <laughs> I think it's actually taller than me with that feather in the back. That is hilarious. But people told me this was like for... It gave you like a bonus to the boat or something but i'm just seeing a fortitude bonus so i feel gypped hey man come with me oh all right we're taming more i need more these don't take too long and i want to get a few of them back a couple other people on the island were asking for them as well so i only want one i'm just gonna take the highest sorry sorry about it and look at that look at that simple Come here. Where are you going? You ain't going nowhere, buddy. You gotta be careful. They have very little HP. What was that noise? What did you just say? Did you say stop? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, let's go, let's go. I've got everything we need here to upgrade the boat. Probably the final upgrade, honestly. Okay, so I've got more gun ports, six more of these, three more for each side. Is this person missing? No, they're not. I just didn't see them. Okay, I apologize. My screen is shaking a bit. I am missing milk. I need mil milk or fish, which are the same vitamin somehow. Somehow. But I'm just kind of shivering over here in, in vitamin deficiency, I guess. Alright, so let's place these. I'm just going to go, you know, line them up right along our little empty spots. I think six is the max that you can have. I hope it is, because that's what I'm trying to go for here. So, do we have to demolish these and just... I'm scared. Don't sink. Okay. Easy enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at that. You can actually just replace it. Just like that. Does that work? Oh, sick. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs> I thought maybe the wall would be there. Like I demolish it or something, but we good, we good. Nice. I was actually worried that like the boat was going to sink if I removed a panel or something. I right, get these six. Hope it gives me back the, the mats though. It should send them straight to the resource box if we break stuff here. All right, cool, cool. Let's get the cannons down. I think this is going to be pretty much... Well, I might add a couple more heavies up top. I like having those. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Oh, God, I can't. I can't look. The stupid dingy thing is in the way. I'm going to remove that. We don't really need it. 
Honestly, like, what do we need it for? I'll have to get rid of that. Too heavy. All right, let's go place these down. So I'm going to go put these down, um, and then I want to work on that wall a little bit more. So we'll probably just finish things out working on the wall, getting our castle set. So it's been a lot of working on the boat and the castle, which is awesome. I don't know. I think the building and the crafting and stuff like that is the draw. The PvP is going to be more fun when the lag is a little bit less crazy, but I like building anyway. It's like a mix between Ark and Conan, which I really enjoy anyway. All right, let me get these down, place them, and Apollo is set. So anyway, I was going to add some more uh, base stuff in here, but I don't want to like get into that. We've got There's such a big expansion that I'm doing onto the base with the wall and all that stuff that I want to kind of keep that separate. I feel like we've done so much today, so we're going to stop here for today. And if you liked the video, please hit that thumbs up for me and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks a ton for the support on this series. I know it's not ARC, but it's, it's fun and it's a little bit different. And uh, I really appreciate all the support on it. So yet again, you all have a great rest of your day. And of course, we'll catch you next time.